Numerous texts that support this act, and that's why the majority of the scholars allow it, specifically the hadith of Abu Dawud, where the Prophet said, if the deceased was Muslim and you free a slave on his behalf, give charity on his behalf, or perform hajj on his behalf, balagahu, meaning that he will receive the reward for that. In some of the books of the Hanafi Madhab, you actually find a chapter, right? That's Bab Yasilu Thawab al Quran al Mayit, the chapter on the blessings of reciting the Quran reaching the deceased. Of Imam Ibn Qudama, wa ayu qurbatin fa'alaha, wa ja'ala thawabaha lil mayyit al Muslim, nafa'ahu bi dharik, insha'Allah. That any act of qurba, I'm going to talk about in a second, that someone does for a deceased Muslim. The reward of that act of qurba, obedience and nearness to Allah, will be given to the deceased as a blessing, then insha'Allah nafa'ahu, it will be given to that person and be a benefit. There's another really beautiful quote that I want to share with you that really touched me. The Quran is recited on behalf of the deceased with the intention of sharing the blessings with them. The reciter gets the reward and it is though ka'an al-mayyit hadiraha. It is though the dead person is there listening to the Quran being recited because of that intention and they share in the those who don't allow it, they use two evidence. Number one, of course, is Surah Al-Najm, verse 39. That a person's reward in the hereafter or punishment is strictly based on what they strove for while they were alive. Evidence is the hadith that the actions of a person cease when they die except three. The response to this from the majority is that, yes, those person's efforts, the person's effort for himself stops, but the other narrations make it very clear that even person is no longer able to work because they died. But the other narrations show that others can in fact work on their behalf and send blessings and thawab to them. Tonight, inshallah, late in the evening, I'm going to read from a book, an entire chapter with you. This is in great detail the things that we can do to help and aid our beloveds who have passed away from the Muslimin.